Once you register to vote, you will receive in the mail an application for your official absentee ballot. And it sort of looks like this, and it will be highlighted. You need to fill out that information, and you need to send it to the address listed, which is your local board of election. And once you fill this out, is your official absentee ballot application, you will then get in the mail your official absentee ballot. It looks just like this. This is a very important piece of mail. This is how you are going to vote absentee. And once you get this, you're gonna open it up and it actually has four pieces of mail in it. The first one is your instructions. You need to read your instructions and then you need to open up your absentee ballot. It is a very long ballot people that are on the Senate break. And we also have constitutional amendment. It is very crucial that they follow the direction. So it has ovals on here. It doesn't have a check mark and it doesn't have an X. It has ovals. You're going to use a black or blue pen and you're going to circle that oval all the way. Yeah. Do this all the way down the ballot, making your selections on who you're going to vote for. You're going to turn it over and you're going to do the same thing on the back. There's three constitutional amendments and also we have um, one local education um, legislation for, I think it's for the Board of, Ed Board of Education. And so once you finish this, so important, make sure you, you finish it and you're gonna fold it up. And inside your ballot was your official ballot sleeve. You are going to insert it into your sleeve and you're gonna seal this up. Then you're going to put this inside of your, your official ballot. You're going to fill this out, your name, your return address. You're going to put a, a stamp on it and you're going to turn it over. You must sign this document. It has to be, have your signature, nobody else's signature, your official signature on here because they're going to check this signature to make sure that this is, is disabled and can't write. You have a section here and it is, you are the elector for that person, whether that person cannot speak English or have a disability. This is the section you will fill out for that person. 